Here we have a Super 4090 video card that came in for repair. And the reason I'm calling this Super, I'll tell you in a little bit. This is a 4090 Founders Edition video card. And you can see the customer cut the cable because the cable burned, the connector burned, and they are molded as one piece. The customer is not able to remove that cable because the cable is burnt. The customer is using a third-party cable. I always recommend using the original cable, but even with original cables, that connector is melting. I went over this in so many videos. Now, what makes this card special? I called it the Super 4090. What makes it special? I'll tell you what makes it special. Do you see it? This is the newer H++ connector. The new H++ connector. They came up with this connector so they can solve the melting connector issue. And the connector still melted. What does that tell you? If you are using a cheap cable, maybe even with the newer H++ connector, that connector still melted. Now, what is the difference between the regular H plus connector, this one here, the one that we change every single day, and the H plus plus connector? What is the difference? Just go online, search for H plus, go on Google, search for H plus versus H plus plus connector. Let's do it together. The difference between H plus and H plus plus connectors primarily resides in the power delivery capacity and some subtle physical modifications particularly on the GPU and PSU sockets, not the cables themselves. H plus 12V HPWR connectors were designed to deliver up to 600 watts, while H plus plus 12V-2 times 6 connectors seen on the newer GPUs like the RTX 40 Super Series can deliver up to 675 watts. The H plus plus connector features extended power pins and shortened signal pins for improved reliability and easier insertion. So what does that tell you? When we have a new connector on this card, and the connector still melts. What does that tell you? What does it tell NVIDIA? NVIDIA should see this. They are probably using the same connectors on the 5090s. And we're going to have this issue all over again. We have not gotten a 5090 yet. But coming soon. Let's go ahead and remove this connector. We're going to solder a new one. Share the video and let everybody know about it. This is the first H++ connector that we replace. And no, it did not solve the issue. I wanted to preheat the board before we applied flux. But I got too excited. What can you do? I got too surprised and too excited. We are preheating the board. I should put my mask on because that burn smell is unbearable and it cannot be healthy. I talked about this in a previous video where I had a mask on. But right now I want to talk. I want to let out my frustration with NVIDIA or with the makers of the connector, whoever. Who is paying for this? The customer. You pay that much money for a video card and it's a newer video card because it has the H++ connector and then you end up with an issue like this. If I point my hot air station on this board all day long, we're not gonna be able to melt solder. Why? Because the board is thick, 12 to 15 layers and the board is absorbing all the heat. The only time solder will melt is when the board itself reaches the melting temperature of solder. 
and that's gonna take a very long time. You're gonna end up damaging the board before solder melts on that board. Right now, I'm just preheating, and we are not removing that connector by just applying hot air. It's impossible. Or maybe it's possible if you have the patience and if you wanna risk damaging that board. We're gonna use low melt solder because low melt solder is magic. I talk about this every single day in every video. And where do you buy low melt solder from? From us. We talk about it every day because you buy it from us. Oh, so that's why you are talking about it, because you sell it. Yes. Are you crazy? Low melt solder is one of the best things you can have on your workbench. Almost always used in every one of my videos. Low melt solder is gonna mix with unleaded solder that's on the board and it's gonna lower the melting temperature of solder. That way with just a little bit of heat, we will be able to desolder the connector. And right now the glare is out of this world. But just bear with me. I'll put the anti-glare light on so we can see what we are doing. Whatever we are using on our bench here, everything from Lomel Solder, original Amtec Flux, and we are a major distributor of Amtec Flux made in the USA. Or you are looking to buy a soldering station, hot air station, whatever we use on our bench here for the most part, we carry and sell in our shop. Just log in to northwitchfix.com, click on shop, add to cart, check out, pay, and we almost always ship out same day. If you have ordered from us before, you know how fast we ship. The last I heard, Amazon was jealous from our shipping speed. Jeff Bezos was crying all night, but what can you do? Anti-glare light on, and look at this. The difference is day and night. A lot of you already have the Northridge Fix anti-glare light, but if you do not, we still have few left. The next batch from China is gonna probably cost two or three times as much. I do not know the future of tariffs, what's gonna happen, but everything is gonna get so expensive. If you are in the market for buying tools, you want a soldering station, you want the anti-glare light, now is the best time. And not much left in stock. Anti-glare light off, I have the ring light on because I put the card beyond my bench. I wanna apply hot air and pull the connector from the bottom. And the connector is out. And that smell is unbearable. Now we're gonna use NF dot sucker. I cannot show you under the microscope because the tool is too long to fit under the microscope. So I'm gonna do it quickly off camera. Let's go ahead and replace the connector. I wanna make sure it's all the way in. And viewers always ask, have you ever gotten a 4090 back for warranty repair after you replaced the connector for them? And the answer is not a single one. Not a single video card that came to us 
for a connector repair, came back for warranty repair. It does not mean our connectors are bulletproof, but we have not gotten a single card that came back for warranty repair. Maybe the way we reinforce the joints, maybe the connector itself was made better than factory. I don't know. But if the connector did melt again, for whatever reason, then what can you do? I've been replacing those connectors for such a long time now. We get them in every single day and not a single one came back for warranty repair. I just wanna touch up on a few pins. because I want that connector to be secured in place. Now I can let go from bottom of the connector. I had my finger under. So the connector is as flush as possible. Now we can use our anti-glare light, just like that. You can barely see that we have flux on the board because the anti-glare light cuts the reflections of the board. It's a combination of two lights from the left and right. And another must-have tool, a very popular item in our shop, the Northridge Fix brush. And it's perfect for cleaning. One of the most used tools on the bench. Look at this. Tell me those joints are not better than factory. Look at this. Perfection. You can fix your hair with those joints. Or if you are a lady, you can do your makeup by looking at those mirror joints. You can use them as security mirrors also. 360 degrees. What more do you want? Multi-purpose. One last thing I want to do is check on the front and make sure solder made its way all the way to the front. And look at this. Solder made its way to all the pins. Wow. Perfection. And that's NF for the customer. Every single card I work on, I work on it like it's mine. Attention to details. And you have nothing but perfection. Kimtech wipes. 99% isopropyl. And just one final touch up. And right there. We are done. I'm gonna hand the card over to Big Boss to assemble and test, invoice, and mail it back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.